Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're a new viewer or if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. So another update video. Um, I think this is update number 12. Um, uh, update on my uh, atelier at home training slash classical uh, drawing and painting. Sorry, <laughs> just kind of brain fart there. Anyway, so this is going to be a short update again just because um i really just wanted to uh film this video while everything is still kind of fresh because um um i'll talk about it later anyway so as always this uh video is gonna go uh with me talking about the bark first and then um talking about the oil painting afterwards all right so let's get right into it for the bark um I am currently doing the plate 1.54. So this one is a it's a famous it's a famous bark plate. So I as you can see I'm just kind of starting well I just finished the blocking stage. So just uh now slowly doing the the details. So yeah and then uh, yeah in terms of bark I find um, just lately I haven't really had the time to work on it as much as I would like but um, it, it's something that I really do find relaxing so uh, for sure that's something I'm gonna be doing uh, for a while anyway when it comes to this um, atelier at home and so now going into the oil painting um again this is uh well okay so i'm gonna talk about two well technically one but um, i'll discuss it later but the first one is from the art of the still life again by todd casey really love this book especially uh just uh studying the plates so this is a plate by sorry a painting by paul seaton i believe yeah paul seaton yellow roses oil on canvas 14 by 12 inches so i'm really drawn to his style uh if you guys uh have watched my previous uh videos you will know that i i did a uh, another not another yeah yeah i, I did a previously a another paul seaton flower painting i really love his style like i said and this is a finished uh, painting that I did. So as always, I'm going to be inserting videos of me um, working on this. So yeah, this is a slightly bigger canvas than what I usually do for studies. But um, I, it's not exactly the same. Because like I said, it's just a study. Oh, sorry, this one's really heavy. Oh my goodness. So... But I'm happy how this turned out. Like, um, yeah, so the way he did this part, I really love. So I tried to capture that. So obviously not exactly the same. But all in all, I'm really happy with how this study turned out. And then the next one is actually a still life. It's a still life painting. Um, I thought, okay, you know what? I've been doing a lot of these uh, studies from, from masters, right? So I thought maybe... It's time to work on my own still life using this style of painting. So this is a... Oh, sorry guys. So this was the setup. Just really simple. Let me take, turn on the light there. So... Yeah. Anyways, I will insert um, videos of me working on it. And then, guess what? I wiped it out. So... Um, I'm gonna actually be putting gesso over this but um, yeah I know previously I said I'll never um, uh, wipe out a painting again even if it's really ugly because you know what it's you know keep the really bad paintings as well as a good one so I can learn from it but with this one I just felt like I had to do it and uh, you know what I actually felt really relieved after wiping it out because um i know paintings always go through an ugly stage but i felt like with this one 
Um, first of all, I wasn't really enamored with the setup. It was so simple. I had no attachment to it whatsoever. I didn't even like the composition. I don't know why I decided to do it. And then just today, I was able to catch Stephen Bauman. I don't know if that's how you say it. Bauman, Bauman's uh, live stream. And oh my God, you guys, uh, I'm sure you all know who he is if you're here on this channel. But uh, I'm going to link to his live stream today if it's already up. And um, his videos are always so informative and inspiring. And I can't remember the question now, but someone asked him, I guess, something about... Is it finding the the time to work on a oh and it was I can't remember but he was saying that uh, when you're painting something um, a lot of the times if you lose your uh, desire to work on it it's just basically you're losing momentum and you know what it's just maybe time to to just um, like move on and don't look back or. Um, what was he saying? Um, he's saying that a lot of times when he's painting something, it actually takes him months to plan on something because uh, he knows he'll be working on it for a long time. So it has to be something that means something to him. And I totally agree. And I'm like, with this one, with this uh, still life painting, I'm just like, you know, no matter how long I work on it, I will never be happy with it. Just because, first of all, I, I never really liked it. The composition and the actual subject to begin with like I had no connection to it so I'm just like you know what F this I'm just gonna I'm gonna wipe it out and I did and I feel so relieved that I did and uh, as soon as uh, I felt like that I'm like yeah you know what like I know I said before that I wouldn't do that but this was the right decision for me when it comes to this like guys seriously like I was actually losing sleep over this painting because I was like um even the grisaille they just like oh my gosh like i hated the drawing what should i do like i'm like you know like it was it was so stupid i was getting stressed over the whole thing for for no reason really so yeah so anyways <laughs> and um that's about it i guess for with this update i just thought i'd share that with you guys while everything is still kind of fresh in my mind and um Stephen Bauman, I swear to God, like if I ever become as good as he is and I teach art, that's he's the kind of teacher I would like to be because uh, he's just very down to earth and he answers every question no matter how stupid it is. He answers every question on his live stream. It's so amazing. Um, yeah, so I, this is basically a rave about him too because uh, you know like he has a lot of videos about a barg as well and I always I try to catch his live streams as much as I can but for some reason he does it at a time that I can't watch it so but whenever I can I do and you know the recordings I try to watch it just because you will learn so much from him and um yeah so that's about it <laughs> I know this video is kind of scattered but I just thought like while well, everything is still kind of fresh in my mind like I said so might as well record it so that is it thank you if you made it this far you guys and as always if you have any questions please feel free to comment down below don't forget to like and subscribe bye